Hey guys, Ghost Pro here with another EFT video. Stick around because today I'm going to show you how to interchange. Before we get started, please smash that like button and subscribe for more great EFT content. Okay guys, so this is Interchange. This is one of my favorite maps in the game. This map in my opinion offers some great loot if you know where to look and provides a challenge not only in the PvP department but PvE as well. Today I want to go over some of the high value loot locations, kill of the scav boss, and all possible extracts as well as some tips for newer players. I want to start by going over the first two major extracts, Railway Exfil and Emercom Checkpoint. Only one of the two of these will be available to you depending on where you spawn. These two extracts will be in opposite corners of the map, Railway being northwest and Emercom being southeast. The next extract I want to cover is Hole in the Fence. In order to use this extract, you will need to drop your backpack. This is the location of Scav Camp. In order to use this extract, you will need to have a friendly scav with you. For the power station extract, you can use it if you have 3000 rubles, which means you will either need to find them in raid or bring it with you from your stash. Before we head into the mall, take note that the power station has a switch that is used to turn on the power for the mall. This allows you to open a couple of different rooms if you have the correct keys. This is normally a highly contested area, players may be camping here. There are also some jackets, toolboxes, and shelves to loot. The last extract is inside the lower level of the map. It will require you to have 11 SR keycard, which can be obtained from Killis Pockets. You will need to have the power turned on in the power station and swipe the keycard behind the urinal and burger spot. If you are lucky enough to find Killa and snag a keycard from him, you can follow this path to turn off the alarms that sound and swipe the keycard. Killa can normally be found hanging out on the first floor of the mall. He is a lot more aggressive than other scabs and will be relentless once he's caught sight of you. If you manage to kill him, be sure to grab everything he has and hope for the key card to drop.
Tech Light is a shop on the top floor of the mall that is known for its chance to spawn high value tech items. Often you will see bulbs, CPU fans, and wires which are all worth grabbing their own variety. But items like power supply units and graphics cards have a chance to drop here. They go for a lot on the fleet market and if you manage to get one make sure you can survive the raid and make a lot of cash. Directly across the hall we have the Ultra Medical Room. This room requires the power to be on and you also need to have the Ultra Medical Storage Key. Two of the major items that have a chance to spawn here are LEDX and portable defibrillators. LEDX are used as barter items and for your hideout later in the game but also fetch a high price on the flea market. As of the last time I checked they can start at almost 1.7 million on the flea market. The next couple of rooms shown are Texo and Rasmussen. They are both down the escalator from Techlight and have a chance to spawn similar items minus the LEDX. One item I didn't mention yet which also has the possibility to spawn in Texo as well as Techlight is the Tetris Portable Game. This item is well worth grabbing and is usually going for a reasonable amount on the flea market as well. In my opinion most of these items found in these tech rooms as well as Ultra Medical are worth grabbing. Of course, if you are running low on space, prioritize items with higher values such as the graphics cards, LEDX, and Tetris Portal game. Don't forget to make room in your Gamma container or whichever size secure container you have. If you die, you will at least be able to keep them for other reasons than selling them on the flea market. There's definitely plenty more to talk about on Interchange, but I want to cut it short otherwise this video can go on for hours. Again, this is just a short guide for beginners looking to get into Interchange. With a little bit of patience and practice, you'll be making tons of money in no time. Thanks guys so much for watching my video. I spent a lot of time on this, so please smash that like button and subscribe to see more EFT content. I also stream 5 nights a week over at twitch.tv slash iconfp. Links to the Tarkov wiki and Map Genie, along with my Twitter and Twitch will be down in the description. Thanks everyone, have a great day.